warning, this game is rated M for Mature. The commentary will likely not reflect this rating. However, you should still be aware of it yourself. to a brand new Let's Play for this channel, Ninjo X Paragon of Fable. The Lost Chapters. We will be going through the entirety of this game's story without straying from our alignment. And that brings up a lot of interesting points when it comes to video games and how they deal with alignment. A lot of people complain about it, and rightfully so. But really, what are video games supposed to do when it comes to such a thing? There's always gray area with decisions we make, and logic can justify just about anything. Well, yeah, we're killing all these people that can't fight back, but we're doing it so they won't eventually become a threat. It's really hard to tell if that's right or wrong. This is going to be a long Let's Play from all accounts, so buckle up and get ready. I've only finished the Lost Chapters segment of this game once. At any rate, I've been jabbering for long enough. Let's start the game. We will be Ninjo, as per usual, because even though this is Paragon of Fable, it's not... Ugh. Even though this is Paragon of Fable, it's not a challenge run. It's just a personal restriction I'm putting in place. It won't make the game harder or easier. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time, and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. But never. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. No, he didn't. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay. Welcome to the child portion of the game. We do good deeds for gold, but we can get gold on our own if we do bad deeds. I've lost Rosie. I love 
left her, and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Sounds adorable. Anyways, if you decide to play this game, you will be given the choice of alignment. I always choose good. I don't find it more boring. I don't find it more tedious. Your wife finds us. Don't worry about more. And I'm gonna play a little bit with uh, a oh, bit of gray neutrality here, but I probably won't do that again for the remainder of the game. You're so romantic. This guy is a real sleazeball. And so I'm gonna bring him down a couple of notches. No. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? Oh, don't um, worry. Mum's the word. My wife's our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Yeah, I understand. There's no obligation to family or humanity or morality or anything. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Oh, absolutely! Rape and pillage to your heart's content, jolly good sir. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Sounds like a good deal. Wink, 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 wink. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. Yeah, that's some sound advice for the functioning in continuation of the species, right? Right? Because the lone wolf lives the longest in the pack, right? Right? Don't worry. I'll leave her. I'm just waiting for the right moment. I just want to walk around out there long enough. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. That's the only bad deed we're going to commit for this let's for this playthrough if I can help it. Trade goods. There's that little tear away. Honey, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Yeah, he's pretty much a sleazeball. You're a horrible judge of character. Of course, you're not exactly a uh, shining example of a paragon yourself. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm going to turn him into Balverine food. Balverines are essentially werewolves. We may or may not have encounters with them later. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Come on. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! I love to see this one through to the end. Something different about that pig. I'll get you, Rosie, don't worry. You filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your stumpet, you've got another thing coming! <laughs> Who is she, anyway? Some tart from the village? <sighs> Younger than me, is she? You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Oh my god, he is such a sleaze ball. It feels so good to do that. To take his gold and then I turn him over. Next. I love doing that. And I know I probably shouldn't, but oh. And it's time for our next good deed. Oh, Oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Oh, sure. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. 
Sounds nice and safe. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. All right. I'm gonna go on ahead and take my, my cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. You might have stuff in you too. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Okay, fear has nothing to do with it, good sir. It literally has a negative five to do with this. It's being a decent human being. Come on! Let's go and break stuff. No, thank you. You're just gonna stand there like a lemon? I don't know what a lemon right. is. Got you, you little ruffian! I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Are you senile, sir? Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. I turned the guy in. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. Um, I turned the guy in. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. I turned him in. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. First off, I'm not scared of you. Second off, I turned him in. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. I won't. But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Smashing will come, regardless of whether come we want on. it to or There's not. There's still time before he gets back. To be perfectly honest, guys, I normally pop this kid. To be perfectly honest, I normally pop this kid when I do this. But I'm not going to do that this time because... Fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Yeah, it's stupid. All I have to do is stand here and I get paid. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. Yes, I have. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Appreciate it. And we've got one good deed left, and we'll be able to get our payment. In case you're not familiar with the game, you can hold B to run. This game is on the Xbox Live Arcade. Stupid little idiot. I want more pocket money next week. You're redundant. Why are you playing with baby toys and little... Get him off me! Please help! Remember what I said, smashing will come, whether we want it to or not. He's around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. And so the proper way to respond with, to this is with more violence. Correct? But well, you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Yes, I could throw him into the ocean and then we wouldn't see him again. Ever. I'm pretty sure you can beat up the kid for a bad deed, but there's really... No point. This is a super easy battle. You stupid little idiot. Okay, I gotta remember how to fight I here. I want more pocket money next week. It hurt! It hurt! What you do? I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. <laughs> you know, for a kid, I hit pretty hard. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. You have really yeah. stereotypically I'll let bad you look teeth. After Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Yep, that's how you get Rosie back. And we came out on top. We got scolded by Admiral Derp over here. <gasps> but all crazy. in all, we did three good deeds so that far much. outweigh the one bad deed. And there's going to be many more good deeds to come, come for this on, Let's Play. Let's change your stuffing. Now we need to go talk to our dad. We could talk to the trader here, because we're going to have to talk to him in a minute anyways. But it's going to be easier to just talk to him in a minute. And of course, even though Admiral Dirt had to lecture us, we're also going to get lectured by our dad for our mm. one bad deed. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. And we made it out one or two gold extra. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. 
I turned him in. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. I did. I turned him in. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Not yet. That's our next mission. Talk to the trader. One thing I'll say right now is traders in this game have excellent mustaches. You'll see what I mean. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. It is her birthday, and I need to buy something for and her. it seems you haven't got her a present yet. No, I haven't. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Be careful. I'm hunting wabbits. Uh... Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I have an extra Young gold. Sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? You know, it's really sad the stance this game takes on. You can kick chickens. You can kick chickens! Take that, Legend of Zelda series. I love you. I just don't love your chickens. I wasn't doing anything. I'm a good guy. Lucky, luckily, kicking chickens receives no negative penalty to morality. And here's Hello, our sister. Little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. Oh, I'm I always sorry forget what day it is. Last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. We will give the chocolates to Teresa here. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Sounds good to me. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Untouched by the sword, you say? <laughs> well, that lasted. Got one. That was unnecessary. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone.
from great tragedy, true heroes are forged. For it is only those who have lost that can truly understand what loss feels like and get in its way. It's funny. People look at people who have been scarred or disabled and call them brave. But it's necessity that forges us. We see extinction and survival tempers us. Only through great tragedy are true heroes forged. leave. It's not safe here. You don't say! Dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. So many options. There we go. A stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakville. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. You seem to have ulterior motives. Let's just hope they're benign. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. I don't want vengeance, I want justice. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. And don't tell me they're the same thing, because they most certainly are not. Vengeance is a desire to inflict the pain you have felt on others. Justice is the desire to prevent others from feeling your pain through any means necessary. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. I plan to. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't blame you, Ninjo. That's a tough day. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Close to a good nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Okay. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Okay! Here I go!
So it looks like I have two gold coins. Don't know why I'm running. Don't forget to pick up the cooking apples if you want something extra. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Dummy? You're dumb to want to fight me. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Not really. Here, try with this. It's a stick! Yay, stick! Now, I want to make sure to look at this, because this is where I get kind of tripped up every time I start playing this game again for the first time in a long time. In this case, years. I don't practice Let's Plays going into them, for the record, because, honestly, I think that it's a more organic experience if it's fresh to me. Especially if it's going to be new to some new to one of you. Ah, now that's more like. Thank you. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. It's funny. This actually makes a lot of sense as an RPG mechanic. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. We haven't started my training yet? And our first test! Kill the beetles in the woods! Okay, we can look at quests by pressing the back button. Back and start have different functions on an Xbox controller, so... I'm gonna pick up these apples while I'm here. There's another one! They're all over the place! I think I need five and I already have four. Okay, we're gonna go into the Jilled Woods. But anyways, the experience thing actually makes a bit of sense. Because if you were to just rush through battles, even if you were naturally skilled or talented, it would be unlikely you would get a whole lot better. But if you sat and spent some time to reflect on them, even just a few moments, just long enough to catch your breath, you'd likely learn quite a bit more. Most enemies, it's advisable to lock on to them, but these beetles are so weak that there's really no need. Okay, getting kind of confused by the map. Okay, we got 10 Renown. Renown is basically our fame. So we're a little well-known. Pretty much nobody knows us, but it's a start. We got eight experience and we got 20 gold. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. They weren't that threatening. Was it really necessary to kill them? I'm gonna put my stick away. There's really no reason to put your weapon away, to my knowledge, but... It just feels weird always brandishing your weapon around. Even when it is just the stick. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. 
If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Come and see me when you're ready. Yeah, we're not gonna go to sleep just yet. You look tired after killing those beetles. I'm really not. Really wasn't any trouble at all. Besides, I don't know about I don't know if I'm the only one, but I can't really sleep after I get my adrenaline pumping. I need a couple of hours to simmer down, and I normally need to do something else first. Ooh. I don't remember this. Look at how cool I am. I'm the statue guy. Maybe someday I really will be the statue guy. Where's that last apple? Here's the servants. Mm, listen, can you help me out? I have to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. Oh! But I can't find any more red apples. I only need another four. Oh, there four. only are four. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward I you. I don't know. Hunting down four apples is really tough to do. Thanks. Thank you so much. The Guildmaster will get his pie. Here, have this. All right. And it's been 30 minutes. So we're actually at the end of this episode. A lot of plot stuff is happening right now. So there's not going to be a whole lot of extra time to do actual stuff. Anyways, I've been NinjoX the Enlightened Gamer. Until next time. As always, stay enlightened. Hello, NinjoX here. Thank you so very much if you've made it this far in the video. I appreciate your new or continued support greatly. However, if you want to, want to increase your support, you should consider subscribing if you haven't already, or check out some of my other content on this channel via the annotated links on the screen, which will take you to my most recent Let's Play, my current side Let's Play, and my vlogs playlist, three things that I do on this channel. If you are from Lionhead Studios and you're checking this video to see if it should be taken down, Please, I strongly, strongly encourage you not to. I have not, I will not monetize any of these videos containing your music or your images. I do have a tip jar on my channel, but that is purely for my commentary and purely extra. If my fans should so consider choosing supporting me further, than is beyond what I would require them to. The tip jar is not a necessity. It's purely extra. And though they will be rewarded with inside information for leaving tips, it's not a requirement. Anyways, until next time, as I've already said, stay enlightened.